Hello and welcome to the Gaming Chronicles. Today we will conclude the Sega Genesis classic Sword of Vermilion. So let's fire it up. Alrighty, in our previous episode we prepared for the final battle. We uh, got our endgame items, the Sword of Vermilion itself, the Stick of Raphael so that we could do our underflow armor glitch trick with along with the old nick armor <clears throat> we got the mirror of tatiana and we got uh what else do we get the mirror the stick the sword oh the pat <coughs> excuse me oh man just got a catch in my throat. The pass to Cartagena, which cost us 50 large. That was unexpected. I, I did not remember that at all, and that caught me a little off guard. Oh, drink a little water here. Oh, the first thing we are going to do is change the flipping message speed. Oh my goodness. Out of the 18 episodes uh, we have <laughs> we have recorded... I have remembered three times, maybe? I'm so glad you recovered. Me too, sir. Me too. Let's see if these other NPCs have anything different to say now that I'm healed. The ones that helped me out. I was poisoned by a spy. Hey, bro, what's up? Cartagena is south of here. Okay, thank you. And what do you have to say? Okay, thank you. Now I have the items. Do you say the same thing? Yeah, nothing different. Well, it was. Alright, let's sell any unnecessary inventory items. Sell. Nope, I'm gonna sell you a vase. Or vase. Or vase. What's the... What is their actual... Correct pronunciation for this word. It's like, what's the right? Caribbean or Caribbean? Peonies or peonies? There's so much confusion with the English language. Okay, so that's all that we need to sell. The two ruby brooches we will be using. And let's fly to... Who has a weapon shop? Let's see, Swaffham's been destroyed, so... <clears throat> Tadcaster? I know Malaga has one. This is where we bought our... some of our gear before. Okay. Oh, do you know what? I forgot something. Okay, so, I actually did um, a couple of things off-screen between episodes. I went out to the overworld to test our underflow glitch to see if it worked. And I actually think that we have to have armor equipped of some kind. So... Let's go ahead and put on the diamond armor. Now that will drop us. Yeah. 7300. But I think that that's perfectly fine. I I don't think that it matters. Sell. Let's see. Poison diamond. We'll go ahead and sell the death sword. 40,000 kims. Nice. Critical sword, of course. Um, I think we'll just keep everything else. We'll keep the Carmine Shield just for a memento of Swaffham because we can't buy it anymore. It's the, technically the best shield in the game as far as pure defense, and we can't buy another one because Swaffham was destroyed. So. Alright, now let's go ahead and. back to Hastings. 
Alrighty, so I think I was in the middle of talking about I tested it on the overworld and I interrupted myself. So I I went to see if monsters could damage me with my armor class at 9900. I don't think it's necessarily the armor class that matters. I think it's the fact that you just have to have some armor equipped. Um, because the monsters were killing me in two shots. Um, sometimes three. So, um, let's use Tatiana's mirror just to illustrate what it does. Oh, cool, look at that. And we kind of already figured out that we needed to be on the uh, west side here. Um, it doesn't matter at all if we fight these guys because we can't gain any more experience, we can't gain any more levels. It's just, um, oh yeah, that's right, we have to, uh, recast it after every single, um, as you can see, they're doing very little damage on us. I think, I think every hit on us is one damage. Let's just test it on these scorpions. Yeah. They can hit us really fast, though, for one damage each. And we can't get poisoned, because we have the poison shield on. So we're, we're sitting pretty. Um... <clears throat> Really, yeah, it's no point in fighting any more battles. Oh, well, let's not talk. Item use. Tatiana's mirror, or tit or, or Titiana's. Or is it not Titiana's? Sorry. Titania's mirror. <laughs> That's inappropriate. Okay. Um, I'm not going to check those nooks because there's no point. Doesn't, uh, I'm pretty confident that there's... <clears throat> oh man, excuse me. There is no gear between here and Cartagena. <clears throat> Titania's mirror. Titiana, oh man. A glowing map of this area appears in the mirror. Oh, these guys are the... Oh, never mind. I thought they were the ones that did the little spinny balls. Those guys were... Those guys were dangerous. Oh, hello, sir. Learn from the mistakes of Sarkon and Eric. Okay. Thank you for your wisdom. Oh, I know what I can do. I'm gonna use the ruby brooch. Obviously, it didn't help enough. Yeah, we're just running away. Go away. I don't want to fight you. <laughs> There's no point in fighting anymore. And that's, uh, and that's another thing about... I don't know, you, you could call it an irritant, it's like, you, uh, you hit your max level, and then you can't level up anymore, at all. <clears throat> and so you have no incentive to fight any more battles, except the required ones, right? And... Let's see, we need to go take the south path okay did the ruby brooch already wear off like seriously <laughs> we just one shot those guys hello sir I saw your dear mother in Cartagena but that was many years ago what what was she doing in Cartagena what should what was going? What's going on now? I smell shenanigans. <clears throat> As you can see, you can still take marginal damage because they just hit you so many times. All right, that must be Cartagena. Yeah, 
and we're just gonna run. No, oh, little purple bats. I think it's just faster to mow them down. <laughs> Seriously, the ruby the ruby brooches did not seem to have uh, any effect. <clears throat> it may have uh, delayed the monsters finding me for like what 10 seconds and then after that one encounter it seems like it didn't do it it seemed like it had lost its effect so kind of useless items honestly hmm. another useless <clears throat> speaking about other useless things in this game did did the game really have to um, put in that side quest for the dig it plant I mean, hello, sir. Your crest grants your past grants you admittance to our peaceful town of Cartagena. Well, then why do I feel like this music is telling me that uh, we're about to have a? She never answered. A rock and roll battle here. Hey, what's up, man? <coughs> Well, your hiding spot's not very good, so it's telling something's telling me that uh, they're not very good searchers. Okay, so let's talk again about the uh, the whole dig it plant quest and you know poisoning poisoning me. Was it really necessary? I mean, it seems to me that it's pretty obvious the game intends it for it to happen. Because even though there's that one NPC that says, there was a Cartagena spy looking for you. When you go into that one house with the, uh, the, the one lady, you have no clue who she is, what she's about, that she's going to poison you, or anything. Now granted, yeah, you can reload a save file if you don't want to deal with that. However, uh, you know they, they, they set the whole thing up like, oh, you've been poisoned. You can go to this cave to get a plant that heals you. But then... But then, incidentally, in that cave, they put the Old Nick armor, which is the most, of course, powerful armor in the game. Um, but it's cursed. So it's like, eh. Um, if it's cursed, I can't heal myself, right? I can't, uh, um, I can't cure myself of poison or anything like that. <clears throat> so, let's see, what do we got here? Are you the only one here? Probably. So anyway, so you have the old Nick armor, and and this is a theory that I think my my, my childhood friend shares with me probably, because he was all about figuring stuff out, theories, conspiracies, whatever, and my cousin as well. One of my cousins, he was good at this stuff. All right, uh, before we talk to him, we're gonna we're gonna finish our little monologue here about, um, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> about the old Nick's armor. So I believe that the game also intended you to figure out the, you know, the ultra, the ultimate strength, um, underflow because it's, it, it's honestly, it's so easy to figure out. I mean, it doesn't take any, any, any kind of a, of a rocket scientist or even someone that's highly observant, observant to see that Oh, when you equip the old Nick's armor and then you cure the, and then you cure it, your armor class goes down, your strength goes up. Well, what happens if we go below zero? You know, it's like that doesn't. Uh, you know, it, it's it's one of those glitches that's so easy to find, <clears throat> especially by someone who has a much more investigative mind than I do. And and then you know, once you underflow it the first time, what's going to stop that same person from saying? Let's do it again. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, it just seems like the game intended for that glitch to be discovered because it's so easy. Um, granted, I didn't discover it for myself. Um, but if my... Let's see, how old would he have been? 
11, 12, if my 12 year old, 11 year old friend was able to figure it out, or his brother, who was only a year older than him, then surely it wasn't meant to be this really hard thing. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Welcome, fool! Sarkhan has gone to east to Thule Cave. Why? <laughs> Why is he hanging out in a cave? Why does everybody and everything hang out in a cave or a town? Especially caves. It's like, why? What's up with caves in this game? This is, this this world is weird. A gift. This town is a grave. Prepare to die. Oh no, it's a gold dragon. Now, yeah, we're gonna one-shot him, but he has the same pattern as the very first arc monster that we fought, the blue dragon. Uh, you know, very easy. He doesn't move. He just goes, puts his head up and down. So you just walk under him and s smack him on the chin. You have to do it more than once when you don't have super strength. But it's like, why, why even bother giving us experience points? Why? It's, it's so. You may have bested me, but you will never defeat Sarkon. No. <clears throat> See about that. But anyway, this, this is why it's like, why do you limit levels? When you're, you know, let's see, one, two, three. You have four, right? You have four arc monsters. You have the one here in Cartagena, and then you have three more because you have to get the three uh, rings of good. Yeah, we still have to get those. Um, <clears throat> and guess what? All of those plus Sarkon is in Stool Cave, and that's to our peaceful town. I I just uh, defeated a gold dragon that was on your throne room. I'm pretty sure this isn't a peaceful town. So anyway, it's like, why limit? Why do you limit the level? That's just dumb. Um, all right, let's go ahead and just use the mirror. Um, just to give us a little view. So we have to take that southeast, or that path south that goes to the east. Um, <clears throat> that's where we're going. Uh, okay, so da, 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 da. <laughs> Sorry, that's just I just had to do it. Um <laughs> It's funny. Um <clears throat> Alright, let's go. Get out of my way. Alright, one more time around. Alright, we're out of here. Oop. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. kind of nice that they charge up charge against us because <laughs> we just wax them all right we're headed to the east and here's our next little um, <laughs> gauntlet we have to go through yeah Ooh, new friends. Ooh, these guys are fast. So these guys are the most powerful um, trash mobs in the game. And they're supposed to hit like 70 or 80 on you. But they're hitting one. So that was a good illustration of just how strong we are. And I think this map just looks the same. Just a lot of that up and down nonsense. Yep. Oh, dodged ya. They're determined to make me take as many random encounters as possible, even though that I am virtually invincible.
I wonder if I, I wonder if um thinking about the, this my my whole you know low budget comments on this game, I wonder if it maybe wasn't low budget so much as maybe deadlines as well, right? Maybe they had a really tight deadline and so they had to cut a lot of corners. Now that would have also made sense why some aspects of the game showed a lot of promise or um, a lot of potential and like, oh wow, why didn't why didn't they develop that more or why didn't they take that further or you know why is it limited to this? <clears throat> like I've talked about how why why all the all the important events and things that happen are in you know towns, castles, and caves, nothing else. You meet you know random NPCs on the road, but they're just random. Uh, they, they're not crucial to any part of the game. Even like the old guy who gives you maps of the area, you know, when you get to the uh, ex Calabria region, you know, he's not crucial for beating the game, or any of them, any of the three old guys that you meet. Um, or maybe it's the same old guy. I don't know. We never established that because we don't know anybody's name in this game. Um, <clears throat> like, <coughs> oh, excuse me. There are very few names given out in this game. Uh, the We have Winifer, you know, the princess that we're going to go back to marry once we defeat Sargon. We have the her two, you know, ministers, Thar and Luther. We knew Blade's name and, you know, a couple of NPCs like Bruno... Oh, my mind's drawing a blank. Um, on who else? Anyway, less than a dozen uh, NPC names in this game. Plus, your it's it's a solo RPG, so you don't even have a party. <laughs> it's like, did they not want to make names, or did this is that another thing they had to cut corners on because of budget or time restraints? And so, this last part of the game, where, you know, you're, you're just going up and down and up and down and up and down through this maze-like thing, it's like, okay, this isn't hard to navigate through. <laughs> it's not. So, why, why why make it like this? We can't, we can't go up a level. We can gain Kim, which is pointless. Um, what is this thing? Oh, a Topaz Jewel. We'll just use it. <clears throat> oh, whoops. That's not what I meant to do. Because I knew we were close. Let's use the Roby Brouch. Yeah, whatever. All of your magic points, huh? <clears throat> Alright, let's go in. Alright. Oh, my bad. Luminous. It's locked. Is it the secret key? Or the pass? The key doesn't fit. Okay. Nothing happened, okay. Why? Why are we stuck? We are stuck. It's locked. I know it's locked. How do we get through it? Do we need the dungeon key? Huh, I don't understand. Do we have to go... Do we have to go back to, um... Dang it, uh... We're missing something. Let's go back to Cartagena. We are missing something. Let's go back to talk to that guy in that house.
Sarkon fled as you approached. He went east to the cave of Thule. I stole the key that you need to get into the cave. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, that's embarrassing. Whatever. So... Now we have to take that journey all over again. That's fine. Take all these silly random encounters. At least there's no, um, you know, there's no risk of dying. Just a lot of walking. <clears throat> and a lot of, a lot of time, love time lost to these. I mean, seriously. If anybody were ever to put together a speed run of this game, which I'm sure has been done, the run killer would be your random encounters by far, easily, because you could you could do the uh, let's see you you could get to the point where <clears throat> you could route really easily where you're you know you're you're all underflowed and you're and you're glitched out so that you're invincible that that could come really easy right ouch um that could be routed out very easily. And you could figure out, okay, this is how much time it would take. You know, how, this is how much time it takes to, or should take, optimally, to um, get ultra strength or get invincibility. But everything else in between that is is RNG with the monsters, right? And and that is what would end your run more than anything is your monster RNG. Um, <clears throat> because once you have your um, your armor underflowed and your strength, you know, buffed up, there's uh, there's no need to the there's there's no need to like get any armor or weapons that are that are powerful. You don't need the sword of vermilion uh, to beat the game at that point. The this this game is triggered by events rather than inventory items so you don't need the sort of vermilion to beat the game um, or to get to the end of the game uh, <clears throat> excuse me uh, let's see what else I, I saw so, yeah I, I think that um, a speed run record time would largely be determined by the number of RNG or the, excuse me by the RNG of your random encounters because you would you would naturally you know go up a couple of levels, um, just by going through the events. Like you have to. Um, these guys are fast, dang. Uh, just by you know killing the arc monsters, that alone would you know level you up uh, quite a few levels. Going through the caves to get all the you know random stuff to, uh, in there. So you, you would you would get up, I, I would say, at least level, I don't know, 15, 16, 17, 18, I don't know. But you would level up. <clears throat> and as far as spells go, you would only need a couple, you know. So anyway, th this game to, could be very easily optimized. However, <laughs> if you have bad encounter RNG with a very high frequency, then let's go ahead and reuse our last rope. Oh wait, we already did, I thought we, yeah, that's right. Not that it matters. Anyway, so, yeah, high frequency of monster encounters would be a run killer. You know, like this, you know, move one step, you, you, you make a left turn, and your you know, you hit another encounter. You know, that that's just... And I am pretty confident to say we do walk faster. Now that we're at level 31. But I think that the... the, the um, I'm not sure if it's dexterity or, or luck. I did look in the manual to see if it gave any indication as to what all of the statistics do. There is nothing. There's no information about uh, what luck does, what dexterity does. So I'm guessing dexterity increases your speed. Oh, 
A brain tumor approached us in the dark. Go away. Alright, let's cast some magic. Luminous. Uh, Thulki. <clears throat> Alright. Now, where the heck do we go? Alright, so far it's... Uh, wait, wait. Hmm. Ow! Yeah, these beefy boys. <laughs> I'm glad that they only hit one on us. Let's see. Uh. Well... There's a down ladder. Now we have two choices going this way. Oh, another down ladder. That's great. I'll just take my leave of you. These guys seem a little bit more aggressive than their pre than their previous um, pallets. Oh, do we have a map? Mirror of Atlas? Oh, yes! Oh, this is the best thing in the game. Bam! We have the maps of the whole world. Nice. Now it disappears as well, so you don't have it in your um, inventory. That is very, very nice. Okay, so we're on the third floor. I honestly don't remember where anybody is. Are these guys are the ones that cast? Yeah, these are the ones that cast. The little spinnies. Just making sure they only hit one damage. <laughs> I'm just really making sure that our uh, armor glitch works. <laughs> Worked. Okay, we're on the second floor now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whoa! Look at those guys go. Okay, do we want to take this one? Where did this take us? Oh. Didn't we come from there? Yeah, we came from there. So let's go ahead and take this one down. And, uh... Yeah, we're not gonna even bother with these boyos. Let's see in here. I think this is the secret armor. Or nothing. Secret armor, hooray! And this is the best armor in the game, aside, of course, from the old Nick armor. Or maybe it is better than the old Nick armor. I don't know. I don't remember. <clears throat> in a traditional playthrough, where you're not um, you know, glitched out, you would use the secret armor. Okay. Where are we going? Okay, I'm pretty sure that... <clears throat> Excuse me. Ow! The, the arc monsters are behind these doors. Oh, hello, sir. So you are here at last. Do you remember me? I am Thar! Oh, so they're guarding the doors. And behind the doors are the rings. Is that how it works? Yeah, I remember you, Thar. I asked Sarkon to turn me into a monster. Now my revenge will be sweet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this guy alone is making me glad that I did the glitch. So we took out his right hand. Gotcha. Yeah, traditionally what you do is you take out the right hand so he can't cast the high fireball. And then you just keep batting the, um, the low fireballs until you can get close enough to kill him. The silver key! And then you have to use the silver key on this, I'm guessing. 
Oops. That is... This is so dumb. Really? You... Just add more keys? Whatever. Alright. And then I have to unlock it again. Oh my word. Yeah, see, this is something that does not need to be included. Okay. Uh, open... Oh man, all right, Thar. Oh no, we that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right, let's not fight these guys. Now we need to find Luther and. Uh, somebody else. Who do we need to find still? <clears throat> oh, I bet it's that lady that poisoned us. I bet she's the third arc, arc, arc monster. I don't remember, but, I mean, it makes sense because it's always, like, somebody who come back, who comes back that we've encountered before. <clears throat> okay. So, now... Is there anything down there? Let's check that bottom gate. There's gotta be. It must be Luther. It was I, Luther, who devastated Swaffham. Well, that was just awful of you, sir. Oh, no, you don't. Ooh, one of these guys. Cyclops. So, you have to, like, yeah, just pay attention, and then he goes back and forth. He didn't even hit me. Goodbye. Aha! <clears throat> All of this experience that just goes to waste. And, and you know, um, it could be argued that you could make it here before level 31, but it's like, it's unlikely. I mean, we didn't do any off-screen grinding. I had to backtrack a couple times, yeah, uh, and we wandered around um, <clears throat> a few times looking for maps or items or whatever, but we didn't take so many more. The Ring of Power, hooray! It's not like we took so many more encounters by just, you know, going going through the game normally as far as, you know, our walking routes that <clears throat> it would make, ugh, that's right, make that big of a difference. So it's like, eh, yeah, whatever. Whatever! And, and going back to, you know, the, the game, you know, the, the whole, you know, low budget versus, you know, deadlines argument. This part of the game, the very end, seems very rushed as far as, like, you, you put three arc monsters with the last three rings that they need all together in the same dungeon plus Sarkon. And... It just makes me wonder, were the developers, you know, under uh, a crunch? Were they... I just came from there. I didn't realize that I was moonwalking and wasn't turning around. Or or was it, you know, truly low budget and it was like, okay, we we have to we have to wrap it up, boys. We're <laughs> running out of money. And so they're like, alright, uh, we'll just cram everything left that we have in one cave. Um... <clears throat> Let's see, we got a fork this time. Uh, which way do we want to take? I guess we'll take this one. Let's see, where are we now? Oh, hello. Mm. 
Those guys come at me a lot more aggressively than their predecessors. Okay, so let's, I guess, go up here. <clears throat> uh, anyway, that, that's just something that I wonder about as far as why just so much was packed into this cave. The last cave of the game. Okay, hello, girl to girl. So now you're a little girl, you're not a young woman anymore. Oh, a red dragon, oh no. Oh no. Made a mess. And that's another thing about these boss fights. These could have had potential as well. But, um. I think that a couple of these fell short. Not. Not all of them necessarily, you know, those those double-headed demon things with the fireballs. Um, that is, you know, that, that that's a pretty hard boss. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Alright, we've got all the rings. Two, four, six, eight. Hooray, we've got all the rings. What's in that? <clears throat> Excuse me, that far right ladder. Let's just check it out. Oh! Spawn right on top of me. Man, we have and we have so much Kim now as well. It's like, eh, whatever. <clears throat> Makes me think though, how many RPGs out there are the same way where they? Oh, let's see. We've. Oh, we've been this way before. Okay. Never mind. Okay, let's take that ladder back down. <clears throat> well, and, and when I say that, I mean like uh, as far as you get to a max level, and then you have to play a a pretty maybe not large portion, but a considerable portion of the game where you're fighting bosses, you're, you're not getting any, not only are you not getting any ex, ex, extra experience or levels in fighting bosses, but you're not getting any extra gear. Um, well, okay, you get the secret armor, so I guess <laughs> there's that. <clears throat> and anyway, and I guess I understand why you have to have the three... Well, the, the way that they set this up. It's like, okay, let's put the three um, arc monsters in the same cave as the end boss. Um, yep. So I understand why you have to have the three keys so that you can... So it, so it forces you to... Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh get all the keys before you actually fight Sarkon. So, here we go. Last boss of the game, baby. And look at it. He looks like a homeless hermit. This is Sarkon. All right, we're going to heal up just for good, just for fun, even though we don't need to. <laughs> we don't need to at all. Uh <clears throat> 
It's like, finally you've come, my son. What? I call you that, though. I am only your stepfather. Oh, okay. You So you married my mother? Ugh. Your mother is now my wife. Join rings with me, and we can rule the world. Now, when I was a kid, I said yes. And... I was expecting, <clears throat> like, a bad ending, right? I was expecting if you hit yes, like, it would fade to a cutscene, there would be a bad ending, and you would basically get, like, kind of like a, the equivalent of a game over after doing all of this. Now, that would have been an awesome troll. Not, not, you know, or maybe a highly irritating one. But still, it would have been, it would have been something different, right? How, because how many RPGs back then had a bad ending? Um, they have some bad endings throughout you know scattered throughout different types of RPGs now but man I was fully expecting when I hit yes that I would get a bad ending however you don't it just repeats this it's like really so it forces you to say no to get to the next scene <coughs> excuse me and beat the game I was so disappointed I really was I thought, really? I want, like, this will break your poor mother's heart. She loves us both. Does she really now? She kind of, so, so, my father got, you killed my father. Uh, let's just get that straight right now. And you married my mother. This is, is this is like worse than Hamlet. You know? <clears throat> um, why does she love you? You're an evil man. Please reconsider. Oh, yes. Nope, it's still the same thing. <laughs> it's still the same thing. Oops. I bat finger failed that one. Okay, we're, we're actually going to do this. Alright, blah blah blah. No. No. I am a bastion of goodness and righteousness. I will destroy you. Whatever. Fear my mullet. That's all I have to say. Then one of us will die now. Oh, really, fool. Come here. Is that all you got? Hiya! <coughs> oh, -ho -ho. oh, man, yeah. It's like that. If that. I mean, if that's my stepdad, then oh my goodness. Um, yeah, see? Normally. Um. Oh, so he's hitting a couple. He's hitting two damage on us. Can't get close enough to hit him. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, so uh, he's strong enough to hit two damage on us. I'm impressed. <laughs> uh. This is actually a pretty tough battle on, uh, you know, casually playing. Die! <clears throat> Just because you have to kill the head so many times. Be very careful. Now what? You have freed me at last. Long have I been in thrall to the forces of evil. As your father and I collected the rings of evil, we turned evil. So my dad was evil too? I turned faster than your father. We tried to fight it. But it was too late. I killed your father and wanted to kill myself, but the evil wouldn't let me. Return to Cartagena, Kyle. Someone special awaits for you there. <coughs> Alright, we're not going to bother. We're not going to walk out, of course, because getting experience does us no good. Oh, we can see everywhere now. Hooray! Oops. <coughs> Fat finger failed. Oh, wait. Wait, I wanna I wanna illustrate Terafisi. Because we bought the spell, we might as well. Um We might as well use it, right? Wait, have all the monsters disappeared? Oh Okay, well it basically makes the ground it makes the battlefield shake. It goes and then everything dies. So that's what it does. <laughs> I forgot to I forgot to show it. Oh, <clears throat> My bad.
<laughs> so, it's okay. Uh, he said return to Cartagena, right? Oh, all the people are no longer stone, and the music is still like, let's get ready for battle. Several servants of Excalabria await you inside the castle. Let's see if this guy's still here. Yep, he still is. Hey, what's up, man? I failed to kill Sarkon. You had the courage to do what I could not. That's because you didn't have my manly mullet. You're welcome. We were all merely, merely toys for Sarkon. More empty houses. Your mother awaits you in the castle. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I want to hear her side of the story. You freed us all. I want to know why my dear mother married the man who killed my father. Granted, it appears that my father was kind of an evil man. According to the story, we never really will know because... <clears throat> We, uh, will never hear his side of the story. Because he's dead. Okay, let's talk to this last NPC. Oh, wait, I think there's one up there on the um, walkway in front of the castle. Tarkin is dead and we live again. You know, for being, you know, so evil, Sarkon seemed very I don't know mild mannered meek even for a villain hey check it out it's the guys from Hastings it is up to you to create the kind of world that Eric and Sarkon wanted place yourself in front of the throne and use the rings okay now that the rings of good and evil are united the world can be whole again oh wait Wait, I have all of them? All rings! <laughs> they didn't want to list off the evil rings, so they just say all rings. <laughs> that is hilarious. They didn't want to name eight more rings, so they just say all rings. <laughs> That's funny. I'm sorry. The day to heal the world's wounds is upon us. Oh man, this game. Stand in front of the throne and use the rings. Stop talking to us. Okay, fine. Okay, right, let's talk to Mother Deer. Hey, Mom, what's up? If only Eric could see you now, how proud he would be. As for Sarkon, I was never his wife. When I refused him, he turned me to stone. Uh-huh. Your bravery has freed me at last. Alright, we're doing this. The 16 rings... Ooh. But they're not going to show it as a graphic. They're just giving me descriptive text. Yeah. Ooh, I get a sound effect. That's that's cool. That's nice. And a white screen. <laughs> Let's go back to the village where I was raised. Okay. More text. This is awesome. <clears throat> Uh, here's our ending screen. That must be Winifer. Look at us now. We're like buff. Whenever evil oversteps its bounds and threatens to engulf the world. Blah, blah, blah. Um, peace reigns. Ruled by the Sword of Vermilion. You married your princess. And rebuilt Excalabria. Yet the wise say that evil can never truly be banished. It always reappears. It does, and it will. If that's supposed to be the sort of Vermilion, dang. And look, yeah, look how, like, actual well-proportionate and buff we are. Like, if that's how we really are, yeah, don't wonder Winifer wanted to hook up with us and rock the cradle with us. But, man, our sprite was the goofiest-looking hero sprite in the world. Alrighty, we have defeated Sarkon. We have beat the game Sword of Vermilion, taken a trip bound down memory lane, of which I had hardly any memories of. Um, I don't think that they were necessarily repressed memories, just uh, the game 
<clears throat> was truly unremarkable. Um, I think uh, of all the ga games that we've chronicled so far, I've complained about this one the most. Or maybe if uh, I can be kind to myself, maybe not complain, but just remarked about how there was so much untapped potential and just well, a lot of goofiness, really. And how I, I feel that uh, there was just some some key element that made this game um, not harness the potential that it could have. But anyway, I mean the music was good. I liked, I enjoyed the music pretty well. There was just um, like that that church music though. No, nope, couldn't do that. Uh, <clears throat> um, but anyway. Uh, they, they never made, of course, a sequel, or, <laughs> get this, Sega never made a game that was similar to this. And to my knowledge, uh, put your pad in the two-player side and press ABC start. So that will take you to the sound test, and and that's that that's it. And then you can do a sound test of all the all the sounds and music and stuff. So anyway, and just uh, uh, this the sound test was a very um not popular not um it was kind of a big thing as far as uh, when you finished a game and you got to the sound test then i was like yeah i got to the sound test it was kind of a, like a bragging rights thing but anyway that's sort of vermilion and until we meet again for our next adventure so long for now <laughs>